Welcome to Windows Fixer, your go-to place for fixing PC errors, boosting performance, and optimizing Windows for the best experience. Today, we're setting up Atlas OS, but before we begin, let's clear up some confusion. Atlas OS is no longer an independent Windows ISO that you can download and install. Instead, it optimizes your existing Windows installation, reducing background load and improving overall system performance. So first, install a clean version of Windows 10 or 11. In my case, I've installed Windows 11. Now, a lot of people wonder where to download an Atlas OS ISO file, but there isn't one. Instead of a separate OS, Atlas simply tweaks and optimizes your current Windows installation. The goal is to reduce unnecessary background processes, cut down RAM usage, and ensure your system runs as fast as possible. With default Atlas OS settings, RAM usage can drop by up to 50%, making your system much lighter. Atlas OS itself remains lightweight, and if you're curious about the specifics, you can check their official website and forums. Links will be in the description. Now let's get started with the setup. First, make sure to back up your network drivers or have them ready for installation. If Atlas OS disables them during optimization, you'll need them to restore internet access. Usually drivers remain untouched, but it's always good to be prepared. Next, update your Windows to the latest version. This is important because Microsoft regularly releases patches that improve compatibility and stability for games and programs. Having the latest updates ensures the best experience after applying Atlas OS. Once everything is set up, it's time to install Atlas OS. Follow the steps in the video carefully, and by the end, your system will be optimized for maximum performance. Let's get started. First of all, we need to download AME Wizard. This is the tool that helps us install or delete extra components of Windows. Basically, it's the optimizer tool provided by Atlas OS. Secondly, we need the Atlas Playbook. An Atlas Playbook refers to a set of customizable scripts and configurations used within the Atlas OS project. It optimizes and streamlines Windows by removing unnecessary applications, adjusting settings, and enhancing the user experience. Simply put, you can think of it as the driver, while AME Wizard is the car that runs it. Download both files. Once everything is done, it's time to install the Atlas OS files. Follow the video step by step. Now let's extract both files into a folder. Any location you prefer, just make sure it's easily accessible. After extracting both files, we'll use them to optimize Windows. Once both files are extracted, go to the Playbook folder that we just extracted. Inside, you'll find a registry file. Simply run and register it. This file is related to drivers, and once registered, it will prevent Windows from automatically updating drivers. Now, there's another file inside the Atlas Playbook folder named Atlas Playbook with a .apbx extension. This is the file we're going to use with the AME Wizard Beta tool. Next, launch the AME Wizard tool by right-clicking on it and selecting Run as administrator. Now click on drag .aapbx file to load playbook, then navigate to the playbook folder that we extracted and load the file. Once it's loaded, click on Run action in front of Disable Security to temporarily disable the security system. This will open another window where a scan will run. This scan checks whether your security system is disabled or not. You will see another button on this window labeled Open Windows Security. Click on it and manually disable all security features. Once everything is disabled, close the window and you'll see that Windows Security is now disabled. Close the window again and the next button will become active. Click on it. This will start analyzing the installation. Once the requirements are met with your OS, it will display the confirmation. Click Next. Now, it will ask you to acknowledge the various license agreements on this page. You can read everything related to AME Wizard, then click Next. This step ensures that you accept the license agreements. If you agree, click Agree. Otherwise, you can click Disagree. Keep in mind that once you click Agree, the process will begin and it cannot be reverted unless you reinstall Windows. Now, in the Configuration options, you'll see two choices. Enable Defender, Recommended, this keeps Windows Defender active for security purposes. Disable Defender. Choose this if you don't need security protection. For security reasons, it's recommended to select Enable Defender, but if you don't care about security, you can choose Disable Defender. After selecting your preferred option, click Next. Now, in short mitigation, if I explain if you have an Intel 8th Gen or newer, 
or an AMD Ryzen 3000 series or newer, it's better to keep mitigations enabled for security and stability. If you're using an Intel 7th gen or older or an AMD Ryzen 2000 series or older, you might get better performance by disabling mitigations, but it comes with security risks. Next, you'll see the Windows Update option. If you want Windows to keep updating automatically, select that option and click Next. Otherwise, choose Disable Automatic Windows Update, then click Next. Now, you'll have options to disable hibernation, power saving, and core isolation. It's your choice whether to disable them. In my case, I'm going to disable all three, then click Next. Next, you can remove unnecessary apps like the Snipping Tool and Microsoft Edge if you don't want them. Edge tends to run in the background with multiple applications, so I'm choosing to remove it. Now, select your favorite browser. I prefer Google Chrome because it's simple and easy to use, so I'm going with Chrome. Click OK after making your selection. If you want to change any settings before proceeding, click Reset to go back. Otherwise, simply click Next and sit back while Atlas OS does the rest automatically. And that's it. Now just sit back and let Atlas OS do its thing. Once it's done, you'll have a fully optimized Windows setup running smoother and faster than before. I hope this guide helped you set up Atlas OS without any confusion. If you found this tutorial useful, don't forget to drop a like and subscribe for more optimization guides. Also, if you guys are interested, let me know in the comments. In the next video, I can do a comparison and a deeper insight into Atlas OS to see how it truly performs. See you in the next one.